welcome back to all things every 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 on <laughs> okay today i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to store seeds indoors okay last year my garden was okay but i didn't get a jump on the growing season so i didn't have the harvest that i would have hoped and wished for so we ain't playing no games in 2021 we come in hard starting these seeds out early okay so what you are gonna need is number one, your seeds. So as you can see, I have them laid out in all the um, cells that I'm gonna start them in. And this is the McKenzie 72 cell greenhouse layout. And I'm gonna just do one pack of seeds and each six, um, you wanna make sure that you got good seeds. So I'm gonna do two and each one of these little holes here, just to make sure that, you know, if one seed is bad, the other one will be good, and we got some type of harvest here. Um, next, you are gonna need your spray bottle to spray the soil and make sure that it is moist, not soaked. Next, I am using these little containers from my tomato plants because they are not a big fan of being transplanted, which means they're not bit a big fan of being um, transported time after time again. So once they grow in here, which will be about a month or two, um, they'll be big enough to actually go into the ground. So we're gonna use these for our plants that don't like to be moved around much. Next, we have our beautiful contraption here, our grow light, and our, I think this is a 30 gallon. I'll be sure to drop all the supplies in the description of the video. But this is a 30 gallon storage bin, and that's where we're gonna drop this and all of these seedlings into. So, let's jump right in. And of course, you need a good seed starting mix. So this is the one that I've done a little research on. It's organic. It's lighter than the soil that you'll have outside of your house or any potting soil. So you wanna make sure that you have the right soil to actually store your seeds off with. Um, and some scissors to open it, maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. I think we got a measure. Hold on. Hello. Okay, we got it, we got it. And as you can see, that is really, really, really light versus any other cotton soil or um, different soils that they sell in the store. So I'm gonna just start sprinkling this on the inside of my cells here. Spread that out, make sure it's even. What major, you want some of this soil? You eat dirt now? You've been doing a lot of strange things lately. I hope you ain't to eating dirt now. Hmm? So just spreading that out, guys. Spreading it out. You don't want to overfill them just in case you want to have to come back and sip some soil, soil, soil around. So these are super empty, so I'm going to put a little more soil into those. And I just moved my seeds right here, but I can still see how I have them lined up and how I want to put them in the cells. So we got five sets. Five up here, five down here. Five sets of sixes. All right, and this is a 72. So just evening that out, guys. Okay, next we are gonna come in and just give this so a light spritz. And then you're gonna plant. I like to do two per cell. And then you wanna make sure that you like split these evenly because you will have to come back and most likely read the directions on the back of these seed packs. So just wanna do two. And then make sure that you mark as you go along because you will lose track of what you're doing. And as you can see, I am not putting these down in very deeply. And that's because you want them to be able to 
get some type of root. So just pressing them down very lightly into the soil to each cell. Like I said, just in case one seed is bad, you wanna have a backup. So just pressing those super lightly into the soil. And I'm gonna do this all the way across. And it's one thing too, y'all, remember not to get greedy because the seeds are small. They will grow, they will grow. Prime example of everything that you do. The small seeds, no matter how they look, um, they're going to grow, baby. So do only two seeds per cell at the most with the little seeds. With the bigger seeds, like the squash, you can go ahead and do, just do one seed. But, um, yeah, that's one thing I had to learn with Gordon. And last year, don't doubt the rules, okay? They're going to grow. So only two seeds, no matter how small they are. Okay. Okay, our cell tray is all done. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Tell me that ain't beautiful. And as you can see, we got everything labeled that is key to starting, key, <clears throat> key to starting seed is to label everything. Now I'm gonna go back through and water everything, spray the soil down. I don't wanna drench it, even though it has this little drain thing underneath it. I don't wanna drench my soil. And two, girl, let me tell you about these Lee Presser ones. They're like little shovels, and they work perfectly for planting this. So, yeah, let's do some Lee Presser spray as a maintenance but that was taking forever so I got my little watering can here and I'm gonna just go through and do a light watering of everything yeah I thought this spray thing was gonna work but I'll be careful I won't over water I won't over water you girls there we go just a light 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 watering and like I said it does have that drain underneath it so you don't have to do too much worrying, but when they do start growing, we'll come back and use the mixer, um, the mixer, the mixer, mixer, to mix the plants off to make sure that they're not becoming too wet or anything. And that's one thing too, guys, you wanna make sure your hands are clean before you start messing with the seeds, the soil, and all this stuff, because these are babies and they will hold any type of mildew and all this stuff, and you don't want that to happen. You don't want your seeds to start meal doing on you. Okay. Okay, y'all, we have everything in here now in our homemade greenhouse, mini greenhouse. Uh, we've got the light there. I will drop the description in the bio this video of the type of light you need. There has to be a certain amount of Kelvin and a certain amount of lumen, all that good shit. But, um, I don't remember what it was, and I'll just tag it in the description. But this is what it looks like. And then you want your light to be no more than two inches above the plant so that they don't get stringy and start stretching out and get weak roots and all that. So that's why we are using this small box container here. And um, I guess Major agrees. Major, you agree? I think that's a yes. This is what the final result looks like. Um, I'm not an expert, guys. I am just trying some shit. And if it works for me, I'll let you know. And we'll do an update on this video. But if you don't see any updates, just know that it was an epic fail. Um, but this is what we've come up with. And it looks pretty, pretty proficient to me. So I think that we might have something, guys. I will follow up with you. I'll let you know how this goes but yes this is how i've been researching and what i've learned and this is how you start seeds indoors and this light here is supposed to be on i think they were saying like 18 hours a day they even suggested getting a um, timer for it but we ain't got time for that so we're gonna set alarms around here and cut it off when it don't need to be on but this is how you start seeds indoors and hopefully we got a good start on the growing season 
All right, guys. Until then, bye for now. Be sure to like, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if you start to see these on the inside and what they're looking like. But this is what we're doing this year. And hopefully this gives us a good start um, to the growing season. Until then, bye for now.